Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm super excited to be scrap lifting this beautiful layout by Missy Widden um, for the Mixed Media Frenzy YouTube Hop. Now this is the first time that I've taken part in um, this hop and I'm super super excited. I do love doing mixed media, I just don't do enough of it and once you haven't done things for a while, like anything, like riding a bike or that, you become maybe a little bit rusty in it. So it was nice to get my paints back out and all my mixed media, bits and bobs, and basically just have a little bit of fun. So like I said, we're scrap lifting the layout that you can see there on the top right corner of the screen uh, by Missy Widden. This was a unanimous decision to scrap lift this. She is the queen of mixed media. And if you haven't watched any of her videos before on YouTube or, or that, please do go and have a look because she's amazing and there's so much you can learn from her. I love the whimsical feel to her layouts and just fascinated by how she creates all of her pages and they always turn out a lot better than mine. So <laughs> this is my attempt. Now for my background, I am using a piece of Vicky Bootin mixed media um, foundations paper. It's brilliant for applying your mixed media too. Because it's thicker, it doesn't warp like normal cardstock, so that was what I decided to use. And I'm creating my background. I'm trying to follow quite closely to the original layout by Missy that you can see there, the colour scheme on the background. I really like the yellows merging into the, the reddy pinks and then that greeny, bluey, tealy colour. So that's what I'm trying to recreate. And I'm using my Gilettos for that. Now Gilettos are a creamy pigment crayon. They're absolutely brilliant. You can apply them neat or like I have here, I'm using the packaging technique by applying some to an old piece of packaging from ephemera or something doing a few squiggles as you can see there, mixing some together as well to make up my own colours and then spritzing with some water and literally just kissing the paper lightly with that packaging and the media on it. Now I decided that um, some of the areas weren't quite blue enough so I am going in with some of my Distress Oxide inks as well. Absolutely love them they're so bright and vibrant and i just wanted to add a bit more depth and vibrancy to that background uh, the worry i had as i started this layout was that my tags were going to get lost because i'm going to do tone on tone so i didn't want my background to be too in your face just because then i could make my tags a bit darker and they would then stand out from that background and as you'll see as I go along, I had a little bit of trouble with that. But hey ho, that's what mixed media is about. There's no right or wrong for it. And it always looks like a hot mess on your page. But once you start adding things, it all comes together nicely. So I've used the peacock feathers, picked raspberry and mustard seed for watered down for my ink splatters on top of those areas. And then I'm just using a Paige Evans stencil. And I'm using that almost like a stamp. So using those same Distress Oxide colours again, applying a little bit, spritzing it with water and then just again kissing the page gently with that stencil. And as you can see, like it has left like a really interesting pattern on the back and a bit of extra texture to that background. It's a really, really cute little stencil with florals, ditzy florals all over it and one of my favourite stencils by her I really really love it and really versatile and it's just a different way for you to maybe use a stencil if you hadn't thought of it before so rather than using an ink applicator to apply your inks through and leave that sort of area print on your page you can use it this way too and it gives some really really pretty um, results So like I said, this is my first time um, taking part in the Mixed Media Frenzy YouTube Hop. They're a Facebook 
community group and there's loads and loads of really super talented ladies on there um, their mixed media skills are amazing so please do look down in the description box below and a link to all of their YouTube channels will be there so please do hop on over to them all and have a look I'm sure we're going to all create completely different layouts from one another and people will probably be using lots of different techniques as well so I'm definitely going to go and head on over and have a look at their amazing videos as well and probably be in absolute awe of them so I like I said they'll all be down in the description box for you and I will leave a list of the mixed media products that I have used for this layout as well down there for you. So I'm really happy with how the page is coming on. Like I said, I've painted my tags. Now these are a cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files. Super, super love tags, really versatile for making like mini albums or for tucking in behind photographs on your layouts, journaling, or even like this as a main piece of embellishing or ephemera on your page. And what I did with those, I did actually just sew them first before painting them and I've just done tone on tone and I love the effect it's giving. So I can see they are just getting a little bit lost on that background. So thank you, I would like to say thank you for joining me today. You can find me on Instagram at Forever Scrapping. Um, I really appreciate you stopping by and I hope you're enjoying seeing my layout come together. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe I would really really appreciate that and that would really help me out so much so thank you once again for joining me today and hopefully you will like the finished layout So now I'm adding a little bit more texture to my background using the same stencil as before with, with some texture paste and whilst that's drying I just want to mount my photographs that I've got. Now I'm backing them with some just some plain tissue paper that my crafting goodies came beautifully wrapped in because Missy Widden has done that on her layout that's one of her um, go-to ways of backing her photographs and it just adds a little bit of softness to the page. Now these photographs are of my two girls when we went on holiday last month in August we went to the Isles of Scilly and they took my phone <laughs> when I wasn't aware of it and took some selfies and I really really love them they turned out really nicely. So this page is about their love, their sisterly love shall we say. Um, like all siblings they do fight sometimes but not always and also my love for them I think they're just the best thing they're my whole world and I have so much fun with them so that's what this page is about So I'm beginning to commit to everything on the page now. I've raised the top of those tags up on a little bit of foam, just some kids foam. I find that a lot easier to work with than the sticky foam pads. It just takes me forever to get the backs off of them. So this is nice and super easy and I can cut it to the size that I need. And I've just wrapped the tops of those with some twine. And then the letters I've also Done that tone on tone colouring and just brought in a little bit of green on the E and a bit of pink on that heart there just to sort of try and bring those two sides of my layout together so it's not so segmented. And after I coloured them, I just ran them through my Sizzix machine, my big shot, and an embossing folder. That's one of the things I really, really enjoy doing with cut files is 
on the letters like if you have like a big title or something is to color them and then run them through an embossing folder just because I love the texture and interest that it gives to your page now I'm going to embellish my layout with some of the Maggie Holmes crepe paper garden party collection one of my all-time favorite collections super super love it and my favorite thing to do is fussy cut out these florals from the floral paper I might have bought quite a few sheets of that I've done quite a few layouts with this collection but I still have a lot of it left um, so I thought it worked perfectly with the colors on the background there the colors tied in really nicely and because we the photographs are actually taken at the cafe where you could sit out in the garden, on the terrace, on the Arza Silly and look out over the harbour and everything. The weather was ideal. We felt like we were properly abroad, somewhere exotic. The garden party collection really went really nicely with it. So I thought that would, that would be perfect. We were outside, there were beautiful flowers and butterflies and lots of cake and tea. Um, the holiday involved a lot of eating and drinking, but that's the best type of holiday. So to try and lift my layout now, I'm just adding in some of the clear stickers in black just to help the page pop a little bit more. I always find that on like rainbow layouts and bright layouts that adding um, hints of black here and there really help bring the layout to life. So. That's what I'm doing here with some of the puffy stickers and like I said, some of the clear stickers. Just use my scissors there to hold bits down as they um, stick, always handy. And then I'm gonna bring in some more mixed media now. I'm gonna add some stamping to my background to add even more interest. I felt it needed to be balanced a bit more with um, some black and more colour. So I'm using the stamp collection from, sorry, the stamps from the same collection, the garden party collection, and I've done that with some black stays on ink, but now I'm bringing in some watercolour. Now I have this really, really cute um, Amy Tangerine watercolour set from the Brave and Bold collection, and it is brilliant never seen them before and um, got one at the last go go retreat and they are so handy like you could take them anywhere you could take them out on your walks if you fancy doing a little bit of uh, painting as you went along and i felt that my tags needed to be darkened a bit more they needed to pop off that background so it, you can see i've got like a water pen so it's brilliant you could pick up your pigment and then as you go, you can squeeze gently to add more water to it. So easy to use and it's such a clever idea. I absolutely love this little set. And as you can see, it's been quite well used. Now, once this is all dry, I still decided it, those tags needed to stand out a little bit more from my page. So I've just gone around them later on really gently with a faint um, black line using a fine liner pen just to bring them out a bit more from that background so they didn't get too lost and to add my journaling. And I've also used those watercolors uh, on a stamp as well to add some more stamped hearts. So that's another way of using your stamps, not just with inks, but you can use them with watercolors. Just make sure that they're not too watery because when you then apply them to the page, they you won't really get much definition from that stamp. So thank you very much for watching today. I do hope you've enjoyed this layout. Like I say, it's my first um, time joining in with this fabulous Facebook group and I've really, really enjoyed it. Once I got going, I really got back into the swing of using mixed media again and I love how the page turned out. So thanks so much and I will leave you to watch the last few finishing touches. Thanks then. Bye.